hello, and welcome to this new kind of thing I'm going to be doing. Every, uh, every Moondar, we're going to be exploring some new funky, uh, indie game. And this is the first one I picked. Um, they're all going to be just kind of one-offs. Uh, this game is called Bokita. And I played one, like, one minute of it last night, but we're gonna, we're gonna give it a good, we're gonna give it a good, solid, diez minutos. My clock is ready. Anyway, oh, sorry about that. The camera is not working for me. There we go. Wow, the frame rate dropped. Okay. Yeah, this is, you start out in this big, kind of, open expanse. And I thought it was really creative from what I saw so far, because the premise of the game, it seems, is to make blocks, if it will do it. There we go. There we go. You can continuously build off these blocks. It's not as cre- it's not like- now, I have a feeling that the game isn't meant like, even though it's so open, I don't think it's meant to be like the kind of creative game, like you build crap out of your blocks, because there's all these things to get to, and those steps over there, I don't think you could just step up. So I think it's actually like, this kind of mechanic is going to be used to for more travel basis, but I'm not sure yet. Anyway, you can do a lot of cutting, and this is my favorite part. I like to blow the cubes away. <laughs> they gracefully fly off into the distance. And then this will, this sphere that you can make sucks up all of your uh, your blocks and that makes it, uh, you can erase them. And I think they said something at the beginning of the game that you can just delete all your, your stuff with that. Uh, with, with something other than that maybe, I'm not sure. But I could see how the game could like run slowly if you had too many, uh, too many blocks everywhere. So you got I I could see being careful about that, especially if you're running fraps in the background, which kills everything. The Frog's Awakening. It has some very funky creative names, and it doesn't really give you a premise as to what to do. Um, but th this is what I like about this game is it's just a nice wandering game, and everything's really pretty. Let the shadow guide you. Well, the shadow... Let's get a block going that I can actually tell where the shadow's pointing. That way. The nearest dark obelisk. Now, this is about as far as I got into the game last night. Um, you're about to encounter things from the Space Odyssey, pretty much. There are these giant... Well, you can see one up there, too. There's this, like, giant black pillar. And I, I think they have something to do with this big black circle in the sky, too, um, but I'm not too sure. Let's see, where is this next one? Here he is. It's very mysterious, and the music, it, like... I don't know, like, the, the music doesn't make it feel as mysterious, it just makes it feel, like, like explorative. And that's what I like, it's, it's like so vast and it inspires you to ex explore and go towards the weird things. And I think that's what I li liked about it most. Um, okay, let's see what we gotta do here. Oh no, I spawned a block inside of it. <laughs> let's actually do the puzzle instead of make fools of ourselves. There we go. Can I... That's throwing off my in my inner... Not really OCD, OCD. I need to get rid of that, that teal thing. That's weird. Is this going to be a thing that... What do you... I can jump higher. Oh, wow! That's much higher than before. I like that. Come here, block. Oh, don't build, please. We need to get rid of that. There we go. <laughs> Even though we're not going to see it again. Um, yeah, I'm like a spaceman. Okay, I thought it was because, like, I thought it points to the nearest one, but it seems like it just, the shadows move. Um, there's something up there, it almost, it almost looks like a, a very modern house. 
We got something down there too. Let's head over there. I think that's the nearest one actually. Um, let's just get our exploration on though. This is what I like about indie games is they're like, they're so... There's never a format for an indie game. There's always something unique. Like walking through so much white. I have about the next three weeks all lined up with indie games I found. Um, but I'm going to need new ones, so if you feel like you want to send me something, or if you find something cool that you want me to do, please do that. Um, oh no! That was stupid, that was dumb, and I'm fine. But yeah, if there's something you want me to do, just send me a message or like give me a link and I will go, I will play it. And if you, uh, I advocate it, like very much if you have an indie game that you yourself made, I will totally play it like as long as it's not freaky weird. Okay, so that looks like the nearest black pillar I have to get to, but how the heck do I get there? Um, I wonder if I can just jump back up the hill. I have a feeling I can't. Um, can I build anything? Let's go back to building. Can I use the cube? Oh my god, okay, that's that's handy. Maybe I can build a set of stairs. Oh god. Oh no, this is already turning out terribly. Let's get this kind of action going on. Maybe that'll work. Please get me back up to where I was before. Oh no. How about we just walk? Let's be peaceful and walk. The low frame rate makes managing with managing giant blocks really difficult. I need to get a better computer for these kind of things because whenever I want to make a video on a game that like looks really pretty, I can't I can't mess with the graphics anyway because it just everything's still super gorgeous. No matter what, and it, my computer only likes moderately gorgeous things. Okay, follow the shadow. It kind of reminds me of Shadow of the Colossus, how, like, the big, imposing wasteland. Oh, that looks like I have to do stuff to get on it. Okay. Um, oh, that's a lot bigger than I thought it was, actually. Let's get some staircase action going on. Ah, uh, I'm bad. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. I can see... I think this mechanic is cool. I can see how this would be a little difficult to manage with, though. What happens, like, what am I going to use the cut tool for? I feel like I would use it, but I just don't know when. Um, maybe if I wanted to demolish some of these structures or just screw around. Can we, can we get some more blocks on these? Please? Please. Blocks, please. Okay, this is a little frustrating. There we go. Whoa! Okay, spaceman. Can I spaceman up here? No, not quite. Um, oh, probably because I'm underneath. Let's... Oh, that's nice. I like that you can build out like that. It's really handy. I used to play Minecraft, and my biggest quarrel with Minecraft was that whenever I wanted to build something... Um, further out than I was. I, I would always find myself like bumping into ledges. Or no, no, I would walk out on the ledge and you have to kind of walk out slightly more to cheat the camera a bit and look down and then you place your block if you want to extend it out more and I'd always find myself knocking my... I would always fall off like cliffs and things. But I like that, that you can just drag out. Also, please don't kill me that I'm comparing everything to Minecraft. <laughs> I honestly don't like it that much. <laughs> It's just a good... See, that's the problem with games with blocks. Minecraft has created such a such a standard that every block game ha will have to live up to it. But this is, like, unique. This is unique and cool. This is not another weird, stupid clone. These steps are, like, a lot more far apart than I thought they would be. And originally, I thought this would not be as much of a hassle as it's turning out to be. Can we... let's build up. There we go. Ah! Uh, I... <laughs> the gravity is nice because I can 
just do these big jumps. But it does suck that I go so high that it's hard to manage myself. Come on, please land on the teal. Okay, good. Oh, there's my attempt at the staircase down there. Um, oh, another one. How many of these are there? I might just build up high and then continuously make a like make a bridge that just goes out so I don't have to jump. Extend. I command you. I am block god. <laughs> block god command commands you to place more blocks. Okay, I can't put one at a distance. I guess that's fair. That would be a little lame if you could just No, actually it would be pretty handy. But um I I could see how that would be a thing that you wouldn't do placing blocks extremely far out. Are we almost there? I want the black thing. <laughs> I want it really bad, but it's such a hassle to get to. I guess that's the thing with exploration, though. Whoever invented the black columns, though, they could have at least, like, made themselves a set of stairs that weren't so far apart. Like, this is not handy. Oh, you can't- you can place them out that far? Okay, um, it's nice to know that, I guess. Give me another one, there we go. Um, that's definitely not high enough. You kind of have to, like, judge for yourself how, f how, like, high your jumps are going to be. Here we go. Oh, space, okay. Can I even make it there? I don't, ah, oh, man. I'm just going to survey the land for a moment. It's really pretty. That big black monolith is like freaking me out though. Like I want to know what this is about. What is this void? Um, God, yeah, it's really gorgeous though. At the end of every, uh, if you want to try this out yourself too, by the way, uh, I'm going to be putting a link at the bottom to where I found it, their website. I, I think this actually isn't the full game, um, but it's... It goes so far out, like, it's so big. But I- it, apparently this is like a beta or something, um, and I would totally pay cash money for this, uh, if it were a big game. Thank you for prov people who made the game, thank you for providing the free download, though, because this- this is awesome. It's a nice little taster. I recommend everybody to go and, you know, give it a shot, uh. Give it a shot making blocks. Oh god. Oh, that was a close... I feel like that one was much more close. Is this the last one? This better be. I think they also have their soundtrack available for download. Uh, I don't know about that one. I think, though. And I would listen to these jams, just to say. I think these jams are pretty nice. And I wish I knew who made them, uh, because they're really good. It's very ambient like sets the mood okay here we go I'm scared because my frame rate so low yeah I'm afraid I'll do that and miss my block <laughs> okay I f I'm scared to do that like I feel like I won't make it come on block more blocks here we go more blocks more blocks okay this, it looks like we've reached our destination, folks. No, one more. Last straddle. Last thing to climb. Man, like, the scale of everything is so immense. Like, I can't... Half the time, I can't tell, like, the distance just because I'm so, like... I'm not used to everything being giant. I think that's one of the most astounding parts of this game, actually. Just everything is so big and imposing. It's not, like, frightening or anything, like... I guess you could use scale to f be frightening, but... It's just... It's just, like... Like, awe... Awe-inspiring, almost, like, how huge everything is. Gosh darn it. Okay, can we make it? Yes! We have reached our destination. We are on top of Mount Ludicrous Staircase, and there's Stonehenge. <laughs> okay, let's check out Stonehenge. I love, I want to know the source code. 
uh, because I've I do a little indie stuff myself, and I've got a project I'm working on, and I uh, I like to write shaders. It's the shaders is what uh, a shader de determines for anyone out there who does not know um, how light is affected, like how light is displayed, and how it hits objects in the game. And I want to know the source code for this because this is really cool, like lighting style. What do we got? We've got stone. I feel like I'm like a foot tall. Everything's so big. Um, this looks like our destination. That looks like the next black monolith that we need to go and talk to. It's a bridge too, and giant rocks. It's really cool. I I. Like, I'm blown away. I want to know what was... I think this is a Unity game, actually. Uh, which is the engine that I use as well. So it makes me wonder, like, how awesome I could make things, too. And let me tell you, I make some awesome things. Uh, uh, go to IndieDB and uh, support us. Uh, w go support Psycho Spectacle and their, uh, their project of Quill. Uh, it's super awesome because uh, me and Bill Barlow and I are working on a game together. And you should go. I'm just gonna plug right here and just uh, go visit us. Uh. <laughs> Please, we need support. <laughs> um. Anyway, there's a monolith on top of an equally, not equally large. That's considerably larger than the the small black one. Oh, are you kidding me? It seemed like it wasn't too high up from a distance, but that's big. Um. How am I going to get up there? Well, the obvious solution is the blocks in my pocket. Yeah, that's huge. Uh, maybe I can make a thing along the side. That's... Everything's bigger than I think it's going to be. Let's get some block action going on. Come here, cube. No, that's not what I want. There... Uh, fine. Okay, fine. I'll make one my own. I'll make my own bridge. Staircase. Jump on that. Whoa! I wish I wasn't a foot tall. Everything would... I feel like everything would be easier to manage. Okay. Come on, teal blocks. You're my muse. This is getting me nowhere. Actually, I feel like I'm getting somewhere. Can I... No, I can't reach that. I definitely can't reach that. But maybe if I make a bridge... A little bit more like that I haven't cut anything yet or like pushed anything I guess if I wanted to clear my own crap out of the way but I haven't had a need for that oh my fit my forehead <laughs> okay um great now we have a wall to climb it's like it's like that uh it's like cat called tower such a big such a big it's such a big that's all it is Please? Okay. Oh! I have a feeling this will take ages. Wow. Um, that's how I felt with the with the stupid staircase back there too, though. And I guess in my own mind it took ages, but... Wow. It's just big. Everything's big. But I guess you guys understand that premise already. That everything in this game is big. I just want to look at things. Look at that! That's pretty! That's gorgeous! And I love the little... I love the, like, the... The tune line that they have around everything. I also like that it's all in white. Um... I, I like that contrast that the black and white gives, and the, and the teal upon the white. Or the rest of the colors as well. I was thinking of shooting a, uh, A cut down there just to have fun and break some blocks, but... I don't think so, not yet. It smells like popcorn. I am getting nowhere with this. I need to like extend myself a bit. Let's let's like give ourselves some leeway here just in case we fall to our death. I wouldn't want to tumble off of this anytime soon. And now I now that I actually have somewhere to stand, I can make a bigger one of these. Well, it was big in my own eyes. Come on. We can do this. How... Actually, we're getting pretty close. Um, is that that little cross up there? That's the... That's almost the top of the tower, isn't it? 
Okay, let's do what we did before. Let's make a platform. I feel like I'm getting better with managing my own my own magic cube abilities. Oh, I know another one. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys some Monday in the future. Uh, the, see, these I plan to be like your, the highlights of your Monday. Uh, make your Mondays better because Mondays suck. Um, or I guess Mondays are full of potential, and indie games are full of potential. So that that's what my that will be my analogy. Um, analogy, I, I think that will be my compare my comparison there. Indie games and Mondays are one and the same because they are both full of potential and aw awesome in their own right. What is in there? There's like a black splooch of something. Can we get a block there? Thank you. Can we get some more blocks? I'm scared of, like that when I'm gonna jump, I'm gonna miss it. Let's, let's give ourselves some leeway right there. What is this? Can I touch it? No, I cannot touch the black spooky. Um, oh, wait, yeah I can. Oh, this is the monolith. How do I get out? <laughs> um, oh, she Oh, okay, that works. We'll just jump out. Um, how am I going to fix it? Maybe Oh, wait, maybe I can use push. There are all these big fragments. Wait, seriously, how do I fix this? Um, are there holes other than that like holes shaped like normal please can I move these I'm clueless um, what <laughs> clean maybe clean no see I'm almost thinking that you actually have to like push broken shards that you've made into them, but I don't think that would work. Curious. I really wonder how to fix that. Um, anything on top? I'm just going to give it a look, good look, and I think I'm actually going to end it. Uh, I'll pop a link in the description and in front of your eyes, so in case you want to come and uh, indulge in this as well, you can do it. Yeah, because I don't want to spend too much time trying to discover the the majesties of Big Black Pillar. Um, <laughs> look at all of our sad attempts to get up that stairs down there, you can see them. And what else? You can, I, you can see everything from here. L I love how gorgeous it all is, like, it's so beautiful. That sounded a little dorky right there, but it is beautiful. I wonder what's down there. That looks interesting. I love that there's no, like, render. Like, all of it's rendered at once, too. So you can just see the massive landscape. That's a problem in some games, is that, like, the landscape that they show you aren't awe-inspiring like this is. It's just, it's the bigness of everything that blows you away. Anyway, thank you all for watching. That thing stays directly above you at all times. Um, yeah, thank you all for watching. This has been Blakita. I'll put a link in the bottom of the in the description. I can't remember the name of the studio that made the game, but um, yeah, go download it, uh, try it out for yourself, and support them uh, because this is this is really super cool, and I'm totally gonna play more after this video is over. <laughs> um. Yeah, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed uh, this installment of... I haven't thought of a name for this yet. Stupid indie games I play on Monday, except this isn't stupid at all. Uh, and I will see you uh, in the next one, I guess. Have a good one.